Johnny Ertel, good to meet you, mate. Hey, that's How are you, Will? Yeah, well. I've got to ask you, what is it like being captain of such a big club as Portsmouth? It's a great honour. It's um, a fantastic thing to do. What was it like being captain throughout the summer when the club didn't even know if they were going to carry on existing? Um, it was a very difficult time, obviously, for the club because the players they were in a rolling contract and um, the future of the club was really insecure. But um, we created a really good spirit at the end of, of, of last season. We had a great ending. I remember the game when we played here um, against Sheffield United. We won 3 0 and it was sold out. And I will keep this game um, on forever, yeah. You set up a players' committee, didn't you? Tell me why you did that and what exactly that involves. We have um, on the players' committee three senior um, players, one youngster and, and myself, so five people. We just share the responsibility at the club, so when it comes down to some negotiations or big decisions at the club, we all sit together, discuss certain, certain issues, certain matters, or if there is a problem coming up, um, we have a chat about it, then we present it to the whole squad. Oh, right. And so this is a really good thing and it worked out very well. And what kind of problems have the players presented to you? Can you give me the kind of things that you discuss in a meeting? Oh, I can't really reveal all my secrets yet. <laughs> As captain, are you involved in setting the fines for the players? Um, this is part of the players' committee, uh, setting up the fines. We have some good fines, to be, to be fair. You know, one of, one of the best fines is obviously, you know, if you nick something out of um, of, of someone's wash bag, you know, <laughs> like uh, like a shampoo or something, is that common? We, that we, we, without lot? authorization, you know, it, it happens, and <laughs> it happens. Then you just put a fiver in, you know. I can when you when, 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 when you get caught, obviously, you get quite angry about that. That, that budget, <laughs> <doesn't it? laughs> you, you, you value your deodorant. Yeah. Now I've got to ask you about your goal celebration. You scored a goal and did a bit of a crazy dance. What was that all about? Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a crazy dance. I mean, you Sorry, know that. <laughs> a nice dance, a unique dance. Then. A unique dance, yeah. you know. I got really hammered from the newspaper here in Portsmouth. <laughs> Probably because we ran it on the show. Like yeah, we ran it yeah. on the show, you know. And they said I've got to improve my dancing skills, <laughs> basics. To be fair, you know what I mean. You do this, and then you walk off a little bit like a monkey. You know. <laughs> now today is one of your days off. What do you and the players do on your days off? I can show you around if you want. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So here we are, um, top of the Spina Catawa, the tallest point um, in the city. Yeah. Um, my days off, I, I like to come around here to spend my time um, in and around Portsmouth in Hampshire. Over there, it's South Sea, you've got the Albert Road, you've the Isle of Wight, um, historic dockyard, it's a really good place. Now your fiance is also famous, tell us who she is and what she does. Yeah, my future wife is Selma, uh, she's a singer-songwriter. And she shot to fame on pop stars in Germany, that's correct, isn't it? Yeah, several years ago uh, she took part, reached the last 10 and actually she's singing today so if you guys want to come around you know you can join me. Congratulations, great gig. Did you enjoy it? Thank you, yeah, I love it. Brilliant, and Johnny, you must be very proud of her. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hated well, it. <laughs> well, I'm half stop here. Thank you very much for having us down. Thank you. Good luck for your next game, yes. and good luck for your next gig. Thanks, thank you very much. See you soon. Thanks.